Just last night, we told you about a car crash that killed the new city manager in Carrizo Springs. It's the latest in a series of accidents in South Texas communities that are now booming with oil field traffic. Grace White explains why leaders in Carrizo Springs say the problem is out of hand. Romero Munoz Jr. was 58 years old and had just started a new job at City Hall as the Carrizo Springs city manager. He was on his way to work Tuesday when he was hit head on by a cement truck. He said, you know, I want to do this because I think I can make a difference for this community. For Munoz's family and friends, it's hard to believe he's gone. This was his truck. Uh, it's a little Ford Ranger. Mayor Adrian De Leon says the cement truck that hit Munoz had a tire blowout. It's the latest in a series of accidents in communities booming with oil field traffic. This morning, a train hit an 18-wheeler at Lytle, and last week, a driver died in Atascosa County after crashing into another 18-wheeler. They're making tens of millions of dollars a day, and uh, they're, not they're not spreading it to us. DPS troopers have increased patrols in South Texas. They're also looking at big rigs to make sure they're safe. But county leaders south of San Antonio say they're still waiting on the funds they need to repair roads. I'd like to send a message to TxDOT and either they pay now or they pay later. Despite their efforts, crashes continue and lives are being lost. And one thing um, that I'll never forget is just his passion to help others. Munoz is remembered as a former teacher, a grandfather and a man who loved raising scholarships for kids. When you would uh, see him on the street or you would talk to him and you would say, how's it going, Ramiro? And he was just tremendous, tremendous. These purple ribbons are here at City Hall in his honor. Funeral services are set for Saturday at 10 a.m. at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church. In Carrizo Springs, I'm Grace White, Fox News at 9. State lawmakers passed a bill that allocates $450 million to repairing roads that will be split 50-50 between state and county roads.